be dragged on your face to Jahannam. You will be dragged on your face to Jahannam on the day of the end. Conclusion, brothers. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about your lips? Or your, what is this? Cheeks. Huh? Does Allah talk about your cheeks and your lips? What does he say? If you saw that in Luqman down there. Wala tu sa'ir khaddaka khaddaka li nas Do you know that it's such an insult if somebody for example walks in here or at home and say Assalamu alaikum You say Wa alaikum salam Just this Just, just this Do you know that? If I want to go with the apparent meaning of the eye Saying bad words to people, insulting people is haram. Twisting your cheek and this and this is also haram. What about your face? If you meet with somebody, be wajhi taliq, a wajhi taliq, with what a smiling face? Isn't it sadaqa? Isn't it sadaqa? What about if you meet with your brother with an inkimash? You know inkimash? You are frowning. Eh? Wherever you are, you're just like this. <laughs> Brothers, didn't Rasulullah tell us about how to keep your beard? And Qasu Shawari, didn't he tell us about that? And reducing your mustache. I used to say mustache, mustache. What about your hair? Are you allowed to, 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 to keep your hair the way you want? Brothers, your hair. There are three ways of keeping your hair. One is either you, you, you shave it all, you shave your head, or you do what? You reduce it, but to one level, or you leave it. Rasulullah Sallam at a time left his hair what? I want to ask you today. These Rastafarians that you are having now in the masjid, dreads that you are having, this Bob Mali, Bob Mali, Rastafarian things that you are having, your hair is this. Which hadith are you following? They say, oh, in, 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 in a hadith, Rasulullah was seen braiding his what? How did Rasul braid his hair? Was it throughout his life? It was in some circumstances. And he did not braid all his hair like women. This one here, this one here, this one here. And then you put pool here. And some, a man coming to the masjid the pool and the golden chain here. I'm asking, braiding all, did Rasul braid all his hair? Hadith shows that he braided his hair, but he, one, 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 right. And some say that he was on a journey. He was away from home. Some scholars are saying that, right? So, and, and his hair was growing longer because Rasul is known that he was either shaving his hair, right? Or he was, he kept, he, he reduced his hair. Or Rasulullah sallallahu kept his hair long, but he was doing what? Combing, even when in Itikaf, according to Hadith of Aisha. We with, with all this, this style that we are making, braiding, 13, 15 lines going here. Is that so now? Where do we get that? Or these ones that are coming here, we, we cannot see your face now. Where does that come? Did Rasul do that? Rasul braided and it fall on his face like this. This is tashabu bighayr al-Muslimi. Wallahi, we are not doing that that we are following Sunnah. We are not doing that that we are following. We are doing that because we follow some. I don't know who are the the, the, the latest uh, so-called singer. Who are they? Yeah, I, you know them, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't even mention Raihana. Ya'udhu billahi bin Raihana. Don't even mention it. But we are following so-called celebrities. We are following some sportsmen. We are following you want to look like them. You are not satisfied with how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you. And now you are following Nasara and Yahud and the Ghayru Muslim. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam us that la sunana man kana qablakum hadwa madha al qudda bil qudda hatta law dakhalu juhra dhab la dakhaltum you will follow the footsteps of this Ghayru Muslimi, Nasara and Yahud. You will follow them. And we are following them with how we dress. Islam allows you to dress. 
I have jeans. I was putting on jeans today. I have jeans and a t-shirt. I put it on. Islam allows you mubahat min al malabis. Put it on on condition that it meets the Sharia a threshold of the Sharia, right? And it also meets meets the yani what is legislated as what should cover the aula. No problem. It can be any material on condition that it's not min al muharramat. Like in the way we dress sometimes, or somebody comes to the masjid, brothers, with the jeans which is cut here. And sisters are also coming with tight clothes in the masjid, tight clothes for salah. Some brothers are also coming with tight clothes, and when they go to sujood and ruku, what is happening? American flag is here. United States of America, the whole thing is out. Inna lillahi. So brothers, my conclusion is that my conclusion al muslim al haqiqi al mustaqim ala amrillah listen to this conclusion a true muslim is a muslim who is firm and steadfast on the commandments of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya abdullah wahdahu wa la yushrik bihi shay'a he worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and he believes in that and he does not ascribe partners to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yamtathilu amrahu he follows the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is a person who will also make effort to do what? To avoid what? What Allah has prohibited, what Allah has forbidden. And listen to the last part. And he does not use his thoughts and mind and reasoning okay he does not use it above sharia of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the first thing he asks himself what does allah say in quran what did the source of allah say before his reasoning and if you want to save your islam what do you do then you have to follow what should you follow you should be in the aqidah of ahlu sunnah wal jamaah on the understanding of sahaba if you want to save Man arada salama, as salama fi dini, wal najata fi ukhrahu au fi akhirati. If you want to be safe, if you want to be safe in dunya and akhirah, if you want to be safe in your deen, then you have to follow that aqidah of ahlu sunnah wal jamaah on the, on, on the understanding of salaf nasaliha. And this means sahaba from the time of Rasul sahaba and those who followed the path of ahlu sunnah wal jamaah mean salaf nasaliha. Right brothers? And if you do that, subhanAllah, you will be so safe. So young man asked me, how am I going to maintain that? Seek knowledge. It will be shame on a Muslim, especially young men, that we are thinking of graduating and graduating, but you graduate as, 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 a, as a doctor Muslim. We meet in the masjid five times every day. Did you add one hadith today? Did you add one ayah today? One eye, one shot eye. What does it mean? What does it mean? What is the meaning of min sharri an nafa thati fil uqat? What does it mean? What is Subhana Rabbil Adim? Did you add anything on aqida, aqaid, sahih, yani tawheed, hadith, sirah, or not? So seek knowledge. Number two, be in a good company, and of course you have to seek knowledge from the right source, right? Ahlu Sunnah wal Jamaah. And mashayikh who are teaching aqidah sahiha. Very important. Seek knowledge. Apply that knowledge. Do a'malu saliha. And number three, you have to seek a good company. Good company. And number four, brothers, you need to involve yourself in activities serving the ummah in one way or another based on your knowledge. You need a lot of patience. You need a lot of patience in your life. And insha'Allah, insha'Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us to be strong Muslims. Okay? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, 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 will guide the world through us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us to be good examples for a future generation, insha'Allah, especially young ones. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us to be yeah, any uh, example for Muslims and others, insha'Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala... Uh, grant us tawfiq and hidayah was sadad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us yani, beneficial knowledge 
And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us better understanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us al-ikhlas. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina adab al-nar. Allahumma arina al-haqqa haqqa wa rzuqna al-tibah wa arina al-batila batila wa rzuqna al-jinaba. Allahumma inna nas'aluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan tayyiba wa amalan mutakabbala. Allahumma rzuqna al-ikhlas. Allahumma rzuqna al-ikhlas. Allahumma rzuqna al-ikhlas. Allahumma faqihna fi al-deen wa allimna ta'wi برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم مهد شباب المسلمين اللهم أحق دماء المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم انصر هذه الأمة ولا تنصر علينا اللهم انصرنا في كل مكان ولا تنصر علينا اللهم إنا نجعلك في نحول الأعداء ونعوذ بك من شرورهم اللهم شتت شملهم اللهم دمر ديارهم كما دمروا ديارنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين والحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وسلم تسليما كثيرا والحمد لله رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك جزاكم الله خير